we've defined our sheet set, we've added our subsets, we've added our, our sheets, what we want to do now is we want to start dropping our views because what good is a sheet without a view? Now in this scenario, I don't have any location set, so I've gone to my model views tab, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to go and I'm going to select the location where my drawings happen to be. So I'm going to add this folder here, and I'm going to click OK, and now we can see that it's added that folder, and I can see all the drawings that are contained within that. Now the circle here is because I'm actually using vault, so I'm actually able to check drawings in and out from this as well. But right now, notice that I'm able to remove the location, add location. If I right click on a drawing specifically, I'm able to go in there and I'm able to open it. I'm able to place it on the sheet and I'm able to see the model space views. So if I take this base part here and I right click and I say see model space views, notice how it expands it out. Well, that's no different than clicking the button to expand there. So if I right click and say see model space views, this one doesn't have any in there. Now what are these views and how do we use them? Well if I go to the sheet view list now, I can see the project here and I can see that right now that I don't have any, any views. So if I take this view here and I'm going to left click, drag and drop and I'm going to insert this into my sheet. Now right now the scale isn't going to work for me. So if I right click, what I see is I see the standard AutoCAD scale list. So I'm going to switch this to 1 to 10. Notice how it changes. We'll right click. Perhaps 1 to 20 would actually be better. So I'll pick 1 to 20. Whoops, and I, I clicked twice there, but let's take this and let's move this. And what it's done now is it's now built that view and located it for me. Now where is it getting this view from and, and how do we how do we how do we build these? So I'm going to take this base six port here and I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to open it. So I'm going to open it in its own drawing. And what I want to do is I want to add some views in here that I can use and actually um, add to sheets in my sheet set. So what I'm going to start with is I always do it by typing the command. So I'm actually going to type M view for um, sorry, I'm going to type view not M view, I'm going to type view. And with the view, what I'm able to do is I'm able to add model views. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to create a new view here. And I'm going to call this the side view. And the view category here is I'm going to put a new category called ortho. The view type is still because when it comes to sheet sets, we can't have any cinematic or motion type view, so we want still. So since this is sheet sets, we're going with a still view. I'm going to define a window because I don't want the current view. What I'm after is I'm after this view specifically. So that's the view I want, so I'll press enter to accept that. I'm actually going to capture the layer snapshot, so what's turned on or turned off is going to be captured. We'll use the world UCS. I don't have a 3D model, so I'm not going to cut any sections or worry about um, visual styles. And I'm going to click OK to create that view. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a, another view. So let's say new. This time what we'll do is we'll call this the front view. We'll put this into the same ortho category. And again, I'm going to define a window. So the window that I want is this view here. So this is going to be our, our front view. So I'll press enter. Again, still shot is what we want. And I'm going to click OK to accept that. So now notice that I've got my views generated. And I access this command by um, typing view. It's also available on the view tab, surprisingly enough. And you can at any point come in here and make some changes. So you can change the name, the category. You know, Are you capturing the layers or not capturing the layers? Um, notice the visual style so you can make changes to any of these that you want. You can also take these and modify the boundaries. So I can do a modify boundary because maybe I wanted this to be a bit tighter to the view. So we'll just make that a bit tighter and I'll press enter to accept that. So it's the view manager that allows you to generate these views. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save this. This is just to do with my vault. Don't worry about this. Um, we'll just call this six port. 
We'll click OK. And I'm going to click the refresh button. We can see it's updating here. And notice that my views now appear. So let's close this drawing and let's go back to this one here. Let's delete this existing viewport. And what I want to do is I want to add this front view. So I'm going to left click, drag and drop, and it's going to start the process. So again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to pick 1 to 20. Let's just take a second to update that. And we can see the preview. And I'm going to click to place that into my view. Now what has it done here? What has it done really in the process here? The first thing that is done, if we take a look at the XREF manager, it has attached that drawing as an XREF. So in the background, by simply dragging and dropping that, it's actually attached that as an XREF. Now if I was to go into model space here, notice that it's actually dropped all that geometry in there. Because remember I, I created um, one from that five port, so that's why we've got the five port in here, sorry, from the, from the four port and then the second one. So in the background, in model space, it's actually attaching those as XREFs. Number two, the second thing it's doing is it's cutting a viewport. So if we just do a list on this, we can see that it has created a viewport. And it has created one on this layout, um, and it's basically used that view to set the size of the viewport. So it, it cut a standard AutoCAD viewport in there and it assigned the scale. So notice that the scale is one to 20. Now this is the view label that gets generated automatically. We will in a future video um, go over the process of how to um, build these view labels. So we'll just stick with the default for right now. Now once this is created, when I right click on here, I'm not going to see any special options. I'm not going to see any special commands because this is a straight up standard AutoCAD viewport is what it is. So once it's in there, there's no like change scale options or anything like that. My options would be to either reinsert it or just use my standard AutoCAD viewport commands to, to build that. So again, the process of inserting these is you take the view, you drag it and you drop it. You right click to pick the desired scale. And what this does is in the background, it attaches the drawing as an XREF, which in this case the drawing already is. It then generates a viewport using the view as the background to update that. Now, if you were to go in and make changes to that, that drawing, so change layers, remove objects, um, update, add, then obviously it's going to update in here as well because it's relying on XREF. So as I make those changes, that's going to update as well. Now that I've gone through and I've added my views, if I go to the sheet view, notice that the views are listed within here. So what I'm able to do is I'm actually able to display these. So the idea is that it will take me directly to it. So the idea is that it will open the drawing, take me right to the view. So no guesswork where that view is, it'll take you right to it. If I right click in it, I can also rename and renumber. So maybe this was supposed to be C1A. Whoops, spacebar is not gonna help me here. Side view, and I will click okay. And what it's done now is now rename that. And if I come back into, into my AutoCAD drawing here, notice that it's updated that as well because it's using a field and the field is linked to that sheet set property. Now if I right click on here again, notice the option to set categories and it's using that view label to um, pick the category. So it's just a way of kind of grouping similar type views together. Again, we will talk about the call-up blocks and the view, view label blocks at a later time. So the process here really of um, assigning these is you use the model view to first add the location of the drawings. Then you use it to add in these defined model space views. And then you can manage the views from the sheet view tab. So that in a nutshell is how you add views to your sheet set drawings.